and welcome to Cooking with Vincent. Today we show you how to make perfect broccoli rob. Let's get started. First, you're going to want to cut up some garlic. Okay. Broccoli rob always is better with plenty of garlic. So we're going to cut up a whole lot of it. We've cut up some garlic. We're going to put it back in the container to get it out of the way. Our broccoli rob is fresh from the grocery store, not fresh from our garden. And it's it's Andy boy. So it's not like farm the, farm the plate either. Okay, so what we're gonna do is to get started here is we're gonna cut the, the ends off of the broccoli rob. As you can see, you know, a lot of times they're they're very fibrous, but they're also very dried out. Okay, I'm gonna cut them off, and we're gonna discard them. Okay, next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to rinse this. Okay, and a lot of times, personally, I, I really feel that Andy Boy is very clean to begin with. Just take the head of Broccoli Rob and just kind of keep it together but thoroughly rinse it out. Okay, once it's thoroughly rinsed, turn that water off, we'll shake it out. This is an important step coming up, you ready? We wanna cut the broccoli rod, okay? And we wanna separate the green leafy stem from the green leafy leaves as much as possible. Because what I like to do is, I like to start to saute the green leafy stem ahead of the leaf area or the leaf part. This way, it allows the green leafy stem to get more tender. So we're gonna heat up our pot. We're gonna add extra virgin olive oil. We're gonna coat the entire bottom of the pot. Okay, we're gonna heat that up. Gonna get it nice and hot. And we're gonna start to, to brown our garlic. Yes, all of our garlic. And this really is simple. So basically, what we did was we chopped some garlic, right? We rinsed our broccoli rob. We cut our green stem portion from the leafy portion. Okay, so we could saute them kind of separately to begin with. You know, we then we put some oil in our pot. We heated it up. Then we are gonna add our garlic. We're gonna throw this away. I mean, really, this should be like broccoli, how to cook perfect broccoli rob in five minutes or less. Okay, now we're going to saute our garlic. In case you were wondering what's cooking in this pot pan here, we have homemade Italian sausage with fennel. Delicious. But that's, uh, that's a video for another time. Our garlic is starting to saute. Okay. We also like to, if this is not your first time to the channel, you know that we like to eat spicy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of these red chili peppers, whole red chilies, and we're gonna crush them up. We're gonna add them into our oil and garlic. It's gonna be good. The flavor from the chilies is going to diffuse into that oil. Okay. We're going to brown our garlic. Our pot's nice and hot. Okay. You can see some of the pieces here, they're brown, they're getting brown. Okay. People like overcomplicate broccoli rob in my opinion. Okay, 
I know it, it seems like there's not, you know, there's not going to, it's going to seem like there's not enough steps to this recipe. But the reality is, it's as simple as oil, garlic, okay, you're going to want to take your, li your lid off here, just to keep the splattering down. You might want to put a lid on that pot for a minute until the uh, until the salt tank calms down. We added our, our stems in advance of the leafy portion of the broccoli lob to kind of give it a head start. So that it could soften up. So that when you eat the broccoli rock, all of it's cooked, cooked evenly. Okay, the sauteing is kind of settled down. It's got a nice, it's got a nice little jump start, right? So now all we're going to do is add our green leafy portion. Some people like pick off the flowers. You know, some people do like crazy things. They really overcomplicate this 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 recipe. Some people blanch the broccoli rabe first. Some people add lemons. Some people do all kinds of crazy stuff. Quite frankly, I don't know. We just keep it simple here. It never comes out overly bitter. And it tastes good. Okay, at this point, we have all of our vegetable in there. We're going to want to add some salt, just salt to taste. I mean, if I had a guess, I, I would think that that was maybe two, two teaspoons. We're going to put some black pepper in here. I would say that was probably like two teaspoons. We'll stir it around. We want this to saute as well. So although we we gave the stem portion a head start, we put the lid on to keep the, the splattering to a minimum, you are going to want to keep lid off right now and, and stir around because we don't want the broccoli rabe to steam. We want it to saute and get that good fried sauteed taste. You can see our garlic is continuing to, to brown in here. The water from the broccoli rabe has kind of softened it up a little bit. And all we're going to do at this point is we're going to just keep Sauteing that broccoli rob. Stirring it around. Give it a few minutes. You know, what do the cooks do? Like when what do they they tell a funny story? Like, you know, at this point, like, you know. It's like dead, dead silence, right? Because what's there to talk about? I mean, I guess maybe we could talk about the sausage. You know, this way we're waiting for our, our broccoli rabe to cook. Let's talk about the sausage here. So, this is a homemade Italian sausage. It's made by Cannoli Brothers. Okay? It's on 16th and Porter in South Philadelphia. And they're a very old butcher shop. They're an older butcher shop. It's a corner butcher shop. And they they basically they they specialize in pork products and pork and sausage. I mean, Easter time they do lamb, but it's not a full service butcher shop where you can buy beef and you know veal. They do pork. Sausage is their thing, and they do a great job. I'm gonna tell you, it's tough to really find a good homemade sausage, and there's a, a couple butcher shops. There is a, one especially. 
they're a full service butcher shop. We love their meats, except for their sausage. And the reality is, is that because that butcher shop misses one crucial step, and that is they don't allow their sausage to age long, long enough. After they put their sausage in casing, it's like they sell it immediately. And the, and the one crucial step is you need to let the sausage age a little bit to dry out. Whether that aging process is a number of days or a week or whatever it is, I'm not certain. But when you don't let your sausage age long enough, it throws a lot of water and it doesn't fry well. And that's the only fault of this one place. We love the butcher shop as a whole, but we prefer to go to the specialty sausage store, the Cannoli Brothers, at 16th and Porter in South Philadelphia. Just saying. So, our broccoli rod continues to saute. Right now we're like on high, medium high heat. You can see it's really sauteing up nice. Just keep stirring it around. Make sure we're not getting any too much glazing at the bottom. The water content coming out of the the broccoli rob also will help to make sure the bottom of the, the pot doesn't get too glazed. I guess it, it's been, you know, cook time right now. We're in it like, I don't know, maybe three minutes. This is the way you want it, you could tell if your broccoli rob is ready, okay? What you want to do is, you want to find an average size stem, okay? So not the biggest stem per se, but not the smallest stem. The average size stem. You want to take that stem and you're going to pinch it. If it's tender, your broccoli rob is done. And this broccoli rob is done. Simple as that. I got to tell you, this is smelling delicious. So this is how we're going to be eating our broccoli rabe tonight. We're going to be eating it with sausage. Sausage and broccoli rabe. So all we're going to do is we're going to get our platter. We're going to take a piece of sausage. I'm going to get some of this broccoli rabe. We're going to make sure we have some nice garlic here. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to cut up our broccoli rod so it's oh, it's nice. Oh, I got to tell you. I'm going to cut a piece of sausage. You can see it's like perfect in the middle. Mmm, smells delicious too. So, I'm going to take a little bit of broccoli rod. And I'm, a, I'm definitely a flour and stem guy. Sausage is so tender. I'm going to make sure it's not too hot. Mmm. Mmm. The broccoli rabe, it has, it does have a little bit of bitterness, but it's not overly bitter. The sausage is delicious. Nice fennel taste to it. We love fennel. You know, anise. Just right amount of garlic in the broccoli rabe. Right amount of salt. A lot of pepper. You nice know, amount of, of, of fresh pepper taste. There's not too much red pepper flake in there. It's really... This dish is like very complimentary. You know? If you like this video and you learned something, how to make broccoli rabe, we, we, we hope you'll give this video a like. Leave your comments below. If you're going to make this your broccoli rabe in the way we make it, or if you already make it that way, or you, even if you think I'm crazy and the way I make broccoli rabe is still gonna it's still gonna come out better, let us know in the comment section below. If you like our content, please get subscribed. But as always, thanks a lot and have a great day.